Find the equation of the line passing through the points 6, 2, and 8, 8. Okay, well, we're going to need the slope of this line one way or the other, and recall that the slope is given by rise over run. The rise goes with the y's, so y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so let's arbitrarily, let's say this one is x1, y1, this one is x2, y2. All right, now we can plug all those in to get our slope. Okay, y2 minus y1, 8 minus 2, I'm just plugging in these points, x2 minus x1, 8 minus 6. That gives us 6 over 2, which is 3. Okay, so there's our slope. Now we need a full-on equation of the line. Now we use our point-slope form. So remember that. Point-slope form is y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. And you can choose any point you want to plug in for x1, y1. It doesn't have to be x1, y1. It can also be x2, y2. This x1, y1 just means that at some point then we leave the y and the x's variables. Okay, so plugging in there we get, let's, let's, let's choose the 6, 2 first. I'll, I'll show it both ways. Okay, y minus 2 equals m x minus 6. Well, our m is 3, so let's go ahead and put that in for m, 3, okay, so let's clean it up a little bit, y minus 2 equals 3x minus 18, add the 2 to both sides, y equals 3x minus 16, there we go. This is our uh, slope-intercept form slope-intercept form. Which is usually how you present a line, right? If you found a line, you want to share the answer with the world, you put it slope-intercept form. Every once in a while it asks for standard form. It's not that hard. Let's just subtract the 3x from both sides. That'll give us standard form. So doing that gives negative 3x plus y equals negative 16 their standard form. Remember that's ax plus by equals c. Okay, so there's those. Now just to demonstrate that we can plug in the other point just as easily, let's do it. So now I'm, I'm still using our point slope form. I'm going to plug in 8, 8. See what happens. y minus 8 equals m. m is 3 still x minus 8. Okay, let's distribute the 3. Gives us y minus 8 equals 3x minus 24. Add the 8 to both sides. y equals 3x minus 16. What do you know? Same thing. So indeed, it does not matter which one of these two points you plug in. I recommend choosing whichever one is easier. Plug it in, simplify it down, you'll get the same answer. Let's try another one. Okay, let's find the equation of the line passing through 0, 0, and negative 1 half, 1 third. All right, well, we need to find the slope first. Remember slope, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so let's call this x1, y1, x2, y2, right? So 1 third minus 0 over negative 1 half minus 0. All right, 1 third divided by negative 1 half. When you divide a fraction by another fraction, take the 1 on the bottom, flip it, and multiply. 
we call that multiplying by the reciprocal. Right, so this is one third times negative two over one, which comes to negative two thirds. There's our slope. Now we use our equation for point slope form. Y minus Y1 equals M X minus X1. Plug in your favorite point into this equation. I recommend whichever one is easiest. I'm looking at this. I see a 0, 0, and I see a bunch of crazy fractions. I'm going to go with the 0, 0. All right, that seems much easier to me. So let's do it. Y minus Y1, 0, equals M, negative 2 thirds, X minus X1, 0 again. Okay, then we just clean this up. Y equals negative 2 thirds X. There we go. This is slope intercept form. By that I mean y equals mx plus b form. You don't have to write the plus zero for the b. Um, if it asks for this in standard form, standard can't have fractions in it, so I'm going to multiply this th 3 up to the other side. Multiply both sides by 3. Standard, that would give 3y equals negative 2x, and then add the 2x to both sides. 2x plus 3y equals 0. There's our standard form.